Screw a cure for well, and I could use a cure for this cold right about now. Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Powell and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the film A Cure for Wellness. Now this is a film which I've been very very curious about seeing for a very long time ever since I first saw the trailer and now I've seen it. Let's talk about it. My main plot of this film is that we have Dane DeHaan. He is a rising star in this Wall Street uh, stock market company. And he is sent to find the CEO of his company to bring them back to New York. And he ends up in this institute for treating people with sickness. And he ends up staying there due to circumstances more or less beyond his control. And as he stays there, he learns that there's a little bit more to this place than meets the eye originally, and it becomes a very, very interesting mystery as a result. Now, I have to give praise to the performances in this film. I thought Dane DeHaan did a very, very good job in this movie. He's the leading man, he's the leading star, he's the person that we follow throughout the course of this film. There are scenes where he is in utter terror, and I would be too, uh, in certain events that are happening in the, over the course of the film, and he displays that very, very well. I thought he gave a, a fantastic performance in this film. It's a very dialogue-driven film, and so he really has to deliver his lines in an interesting way, which is going to keep the audience's attention. Attention. And I thought that he did that just really, really well. Jason Isaacs is the head of the Institute, and he does a very good job being a very creepy guy. He starts out as this run-of-the-mill, oh, hey, I'm a doctor, I'm going to try to help you, I want to keep everybody healthy, I want to cure this illness which is plaguing humanity. And just the more you learn about him, and the more scenes that he has with Dane DeHaan's character and with Mia Goth, who's our main female protagonist in this film, it just becomes very, very interesting, and he he has just some of the creepiest scenes in the whole film, and he just does them very, very well. And while while I while it caused me to dislike his character as a result, he gave a really good performance to do that. One thing that I really liked about the film was that it had a really good air of mystery to it, uh, even from the opening. Uh, scenes with Dane DeHaan going to this institute, you, just, you sense that there's something not right about this place. And you know that from the trailer if you've seen that. But just the first time that you go into it, the people just act very, very strangely, especially the staff. And the more that you get into it, the more that you see through Dane DeHaan's eyes, you wonder what is really going on with this place. And he sees these certain visions with these eels, and it begins to kind of remind me of Shutter Island to an extent, because you don't know if he's crazy or if he's actually sane and people are trying to make him think that he's crazy. And it just becomes a very interesting mind game by the end of it, because you don't know ultimately what is real. If he's the ultimately main antagonist of this film, or if he's actually the good guy as it's showing us. The film also does a really good job with the lore that it introduces throughout the film because it, it just introduces it sporadically throughout the film, slowly but surely, in small doses, and it just works to a really well done effect. Because we learn more about this Duke and his wife uh, who lived in the same castle area way long ago in experiments that they did and things that relate to the things that are going on in this present day story. And as you learn more and more about it, you begin to be able to piece together how certain characters relate to those events and it becomes very, very interesting. And as a result, it leads into the finale of the film, which I really, really enjoyed. I thought that the ending was very good. I thought it was going to end in a certain way, which I would have hated, and then it just kept going. And it made for a very good ending. I thought just went really well on for a full circle. That being said, the movie is a little bit slow, and it does cause you to really notice it's two and a half hour runtime. There's not a lot of action that happens in this film. It's not really a horror film or anything like that. It's a mystery film. And it's a lot of Dane DeHaan walking around this facility trying to figure out what is going on in this place. And while he does it really well, it does make for a slow moving film because he finds things out very, very gradually. And then the other issue that I had with the film, it's a very small thing, but it's the last shot of the movie. And I'm not going to spoil it, obviously. But there's something which happens, which doesn't really seem to fit based on what I heard throughout the film with the lore of the film, basically the, the history of this place. It doesn't really seem to fit with anything that we were told, unless I just missed something. And that's something that you really have to do with the film. You have to listen to what is being told, because a lot of it adds up to the, the main story and the background of this film. That being said, the last shot just didn't really seem to 
work within the realms of that lore that we were told, at least from what I could tell. I kind of want to rewatch the movie eventually at some point just to see if I maybe missed a comment or some sort of small part of the detail of this film itself. But guys, overall, I had a really fun time watching A Cure for Wellness. I thought it was a really well done movie. I thought Dana Han gave a very good performance and led this film really well. Jason Isaacs did a really good job as well being the creepy villain of the film. It's just a very interesting film. It does have some disturbing scenes, I will say that. So if you're not good with gore or kind of really cringe-worthy scenes, probably don't watch this because it does have a few of those, which will make you really uncomfortable. But otherwise, I had a really fun time with this film. I'd definitely say check it out if you have the opportunity. Definitely recommended. Hey guys, those are my thoughts on A Cure for Wellness. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.